Hi, welcome back to Life on the French. <laughs> Life on the French, which is the default search option if you put it Life on the French. <laughs> I've become my own nemesis. Anyhow, welcome to Life on the French, uh, or welcome back. Today we are making uh, a barcade for our hamsters. So, we've had tons of success with making hamster treats from scratch before, so I thought, let's do it again. <laughs> uh, plus we, if you already saw the video we uploaded yesterday, uh, we already tried out these games, and now we're going to try them out with the hamsters modified, of course. But we'll get to that later. So, the recipe I'm using today is from uh, Petite Pets. Uh, who has this cute, cutest little hamster potter intro that I just absolutely love. Um, and we're going to be using her video uh, as the recipe for making a pizza because that was the closest thing I could find to a bar food for hamsters online. And who doesn't love greasy pizza after a night out, you know? So let's look at what we need. Okay, we need strawberries, bananas, flour, and she did not specify buckwheat flour, so I'm not using it. I, I swear that is the reason the other recipes did not turn out. So we're going to be using general all-purpose white flour. It's pizza. It's not meant to be healthy, and it's a treat for them. So, it can be a treat. Okay? Okay. Come at me. All right, let's start. We've got bananas. Bam. We need strawberries. I think they're on the top shelf. Top shelf strawberries. That's how we treat our hamsters. Strawberries. Flour. No. Hmm? No. Oh, yeah. into these cute little canisters. Okay, we need one of these for the bananas, one for the strawberries, one for the flour, one for the water. Look at how nice that works out. Okay. So far so smooth. Maybe this won't be the chaotic energy I was thinking it might be. We're gonna find out. It's not really strawberry season right now, so it's a little difficult, you know? And they're like other hamsters. They're gonna eat anything. It's like, yeah, but they're my hamsters. So they're gonna be picky like me. They're your little heads. Okay. Uh. I'm going to see if there's like a number. See, that looks like more strawberries. There's no measurements. She cut these in half. Do you think I need to do that before we put them in the mixer? You could get away without doing it. It helps though. Right, we'll cut them in half. Okay. Where's our ninja thing? I'm gonna have to grab it. Okay. Because it's up there. I can't even see it. Just for the sake of argument, even Stan has to get on the sink. So it's not just me who struggles in this kitchen. Did you already take out the flour? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, using the sink for shelf space. We don't have space. enough storage space. Count
counter space. Of a teaspoon. Right? Sure. They have water in there too. You need, oh no, you need the top. Yeah. yeah. Just pour the <laughs> strawberries. Oh my gosh. Would not be. That's a problem. Uh, is it plugged in? Yeah. Yes, okay, yep. Anyhow, it reminded me of when... Oh, it smells good. Uh, when I used to make fruit soup for my mom, because I would just take fruit. I didn't know how to make soup when I was like four or five, and I would just take fruit and like cut it up like bananas, grapes, strawberries or whatever and then put it in a bowl of water and then give it to her for like a meal. It's pretty nasty. Yeah, but she ate it cuz I was cuz I was so proud that I had made soup and I was like trying to be helpful. So, I I'm so sorry, mom, <laughs> that you had to eat meals upon meals of fruit soup. <laughs> now you make good soup. Yeah, now now I make good soup, but not then. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna take a banana. This is supposed to be the cheese part. Mozzarella. What do you think? Whole banana? Half banana? Uh, probably half banana. Half banana? And we're just supposed to mush it. With our favorite hamster utensil, the spoon. Can you see? You want me to see? Maybe this is satisfying for people. You know? It's not really satisfying to me. Everybody loves the sound of clanking <laughs> ceramic and metal. You gotta try a top down approach. Yeah, like that some slicing action going. Okay, then why not just like use an, a fork? I don't know if petite pets used a fork or a spoon, but every other freaking hamster tutorial is like, we don't promote sharp objects in this tutorial. Spoons only. Our hamsters are fragile even when we're cooking for them. Well, you gotta think if kids are trying to replicate this recipe, yeah, kids don't do this. Kids don't do this at all? Or what do you mean? Yeah, because you, you gotta use this. Oh, thing. oh, I see, I see. A disclaimer. That's a good point. If she's using a spoon, then she sh probably shouldn't use a blender if she's trying to advertise to kids. She's a very small YouTuber like us. Actually, she's bigger than us, but she's still relatively small. That's kind of why I wanted to highlight her channel. It's very cute. Okay. This is pretty mushy to me, with a little bit of chunks. But I feel like, you know, sometimes you get a good cheese chunk in your pizza, right? Right. So I'm going to call this mushed, and we'll let it go. Great. Okay, so three of these, three and a half of these. So one... Three. And a half. And a half. Just use the half of the teaspoon that you and have. Half. No, 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 but don't dirty two teaspoons. Oh. Okay, 
And then three teaspoons of water, right? I would close the flour before you start. That's a good idea. Good, good idea. One. Two. Three. Okay. And then whisk together. Should I use a fork or a spoon? Use a fork. I feel like I'm betraying the hamster community. It's kind of doughy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. All I right. wouldn't eat it, but it's good. You want to eat it? I would not eat it. Oh. Why not? Just flour and water. I'm not using that many because I was so disappointed <laughs> at how the treats came out last time. And even though the banana oats ones were popular, especially in the cage, I know you probably won't believe me today. Very, well, I guess Rocky was enjoying it even in the playpen, but. Okay, I've added some oats to add a little bit of extra, extra health. Great. Now, let's see. We can get the extra ingredient here. We can get this Stop it. guy. Stop it. You want Stop this? It. You want the buckwheat, Stay buckwheat away. Flour. Stay away. No. No. Start, just, no. Just put that in there. No. <laughs> okay, I'll put it back. That's karma for you getting that out. Deep dish, I like it. Oh, more arts and crafts. Okay, it's not quite as pretty as hers, but I think we can call that good, right? What do you think, subscribers and viewers? I think they think it's good. Okay. Because I don't want to mess with it anymore. Sure you can see me. I thought I heard butter. Now deep dish pizza's got a lot of sauce. You know? So you want to be generous here. Like so? Yeah, looks good. What are we going to do with this? I'll turn it into a smoothie later. Okay. With the half banana. Maybe if they really like it, we can make another pizza. Okay. Like this, this comparatively to the other ones we've done, is not very hard yeah, so it's far. Pretty good, yeah. Okay, now we do the cheese. Now, deep dish pizza, actually, I think the sauce is usually on top, but that's okay. This will look more like a pizza. If we wanted to make a meat pizza, we could add some mealworms to this to boost the protein. Oh, yeah, okay. Just after it comes out of the oven. Also kind of guarantees that they're going to eat it. Exactly. Listen, I don't want to fail again. <laughs> so... Bananas, I saw bananas in this recipe. I was like, I know at least one of my ham actually all of my hamsters like bananas. Um I was like, no buckwheat? None of my hamsters like buckwheat. And then I was like, I could put mealworms on this. <laughs> and that's why I'm trying this recipe. <laughs> so Hopefully this turns out. Now, we uh, need to do some arts and crafts with the tin foil. I did it 
all by myself. <laughs> so tall. I'm so tall. Now she just puts the tin foil in the oven, I think, but we'll put ours on a cookie tray, no? Uh either, yeah, sure, cookie tray sounds good. Oh, this is going to be difficult to move. You should make your tray first. Got it. And I can make the tray around the pizza. You see what I'm saying? To make it hold shape. Okay, but the bottom usually needs like a double layer. Your pizza's falling apart. Stop it. Don't make mistakes. We don't make mistakes, we make happy accidents. It's going on a cookie tray. Why would it need a double layer? It needs a double layer so that when you move it and transport it, it has more structure than just a single layer. I have enough to make a, a backup pizza. Should I make a backup pizza? I don't think you'll need to. Also, we kind of want to see how this one works at this temperature. Oven's preheated. Should I cut this extra tin foil off though? No. Oh god. Okay. Well, if this doesn't work out, we'll make a second one. Nice. We'll see you in 10 minutes. We're so professional. Look at these gloves. Love it. There's definitely um, matching gloves in there, but. Well, we're going to need more space. Wait, and then we'll put it back in. So what are we thinking? Crust is hard. Hard crust? A uh, little longer? Little, little chewy. We'll put it in a little bit longer. What do you think? Two more minutes? Uh, probably three or four if you want anything to change. Perfect. A pizza. That's cool. You know, that's that's a good sign, I think. Look at that, two for two. Ah. Ours is working out. First success, question mark? Well, the, actually the easy banana oats recipe I have up, that is also successful. Right. But the following other people's tutorials that I have up, just watch them. They have talent that I don't have. That's all I'm gonna say. But these, so, so far, knock on wood, are looking like that looks. So hopefully, at least aesthetically, it will come out right. We'll see if our hamsters actually enjoy uh, the treats. Because sometimes they'll come out beautiful and your hamsters don't appreciate you. And you don't feel like valued as a mom. It's hard. For hamster moms out there. Okay, three minutes is done. Here we are. Fell 
fell apart a little bit. That was my fault, we saw that coming. So I'm just gonna let this rest, I think. She doesn't say to. So I'm gonna let this sit for like three minutes, let's say. Cool down, kind of. Yeah? Sure. Okay, I'm making this part up by the way. So if this part doesn't work, it's on me, not on petite pets. So come at me. Three for three. I have mastered the microwave. Here we come. Mm, I'm a master chef. Okay, so we've let it sit here for three minutes. So I'm just going to carefully peel back the hot tin foil. I'm trying so hard not to swear to get not to monetize, but just put in whatever swear words you think I would be saying in your mind. That's what I'm saying in my head. So impatient. <laughs> but hey, that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bendy more than hers. Yeah. But they're not, it's not quite ready for them to be, they shouldn't eat it hot. Right. So we're going to let that cool while we try to tempt the hamsters into playing with us. So to make this a meat pizza, I added some mealworms to act as the sausage. And I think they're really going to enjoy that. And so now it's time to test it out.
So overall, I think that this recipe was a total success. Um, the hamsters really seemed to enjoy the pizza. Butter in particular had a really good time at the barcade. Uh, and for once, the recipe looked like the recipe in the video. And I really think it's because we used not, we didn't use buckwheat and we used all purpose flour. So, I mean, I couldn't be happier. I'm gonna be taking off this apron now with pride, with joy in my heart, knowing my hamsters do love me and I can cook treats for them. Again, link to the original recipe will be in the description down below. Um, and the only modification that I made was letting it cool, um, which she probably did too. It just wasn't in the video. And uh, I put mine on a cookie sheet. But those were like minor changes. So check out her video. I will link it below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you think my hamsters are adorable, please tell them in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when new videos get posted. And most importantly, I think I said and like four times, but most importantly, have a great day. Bye! She went back for the pizza in her cage. Crust and all.